Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Alpha Dior. Today in the kitchen, I will be showing you guys how I prepare my cornbread from Jeffrey Mix. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the way of the box. It's going to be my own personal way because this way it's going to give it a little bit more moisture, a little bit more flavor, and it's just going to bring the taste of that cornbread out. You're going to love it. Um, so if you are new to the channel, do not forget guys to subscribe, hit that subscribe button and be a part of uh, Alpha Dior's um, game. Um, but yeah, if you know and you um, have ever uh, tasted cornbread, you know it's good, but you can spice it up a little bit in your own way. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. I'm just going to show you how I make my cornbread. And if you would like to um, see how I make mine, stay tuned, okay? So I'm going to get the uh, stuff together. I've really already got it together, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get it mixed up for you guys. Um, so, of course, in this recipe here, I'm going to be using two boxes of the uh, Jiffy Mix. Now, they do have the Jiffy Mix, just, um, just regular, but this one right here, if you guys can see, it's a honey Jiffy Mix. So, it's not your regular Jiffy Mix that you will find. It's a honey one. I'm not sure if this one is new. I've never really seen it before, but I did happen to pick it up in my local Walmart. So, if you guys are looking for this, you can check it out there. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and get two boxes of the Jiffy Mix over into my my dish um, i'm going to get it whipped up but i'm going to i'm going to show you guys something because you can either sift your your um your um batter you can sift it um to get the lumps because if you notice once you guys uh get you a box of this and you notice when you start pouring it out in your bowl sometimes it's a little clumpy so what i do you can sift it or you could just use a fork um and just try to get those lumps out before you um go to putting all your wet ingredients in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, my day is going very well. Um, I just started to get up and go ahead and make this, but I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and intertwine it into uh, my day's video. So if you guys see, I have a fork here, just a basic fork, and you guys can go ahead and just mash down those clumps that you find in your batter. Um, that way it could be more smooth and, you know, better for you when you go to mixing it. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay. What I did not grab you guys is my wig. So let me grab that. <laughs> I have just a simple uh, wire whisk. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, add over into my ingredients. So what I'm going to be um, adding in now, you guys, is a cup of milk. You can use whatever milk you want. Here I just have uh, whole milk. Um, you can use skim milk, whatever milk you want. You can either use uh, uh, buttermilk as well, but this is just a, a cup of regular whole milk. So one cup of the regular whole milk. Also add um, like a, a one-fourth, another little bit to that. You can leave it at one fourth. You can follow the box by all means, but again, I like to kick mine up and make it a little bit more moist and a little bit more, you know, just a little bit mm, better. So again, one fourth. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start whisking that. And then to this mixture, um, once I get this whisk, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the other um, ingredients. So yeah. And it's really, really simple. Um, and I used to, I used to make it um, according to the the box, but I was like, you know what? Let's kick this up a little bit. <laughs> so then I began to um, add my own, you know, spin on it. And ever since then, I've never went back, you guys. So I'm just beating this up. Um, what you want to do is try to beat it until you see all the clumps and stuff out of it. And that way it leads for a smooth mixture. Once I get it beat up really, really good, I'm gonna, you know, shift the camera and let you guys see um, in more detail. Okay, so I've got that mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, add and start adding my eggs. I have here three eggs, but again, the box, uh, for one box, it calls for one egg. But of course I got two boxes, so therefore you would do two eggs. But since, like I told you guys, I'm putting my own spin on it and it's gonna be, Delicious, so I have three eggs, okay? I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box if you guys care to 
you know, try it. You can do that as well. Um, so once I um, get this video edited, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys um, take a peek at that recipe so you can do it your own way. Also, you guys, there's another type of cornbread. Um, it's, a, it's, it's something my, my mother, she used to do it this way. She would take the uh, cornbread batter and she would actually fry it. She would fry it in a frying pan and add a little bit of um, oil to it. It, was, it used to be like really delicious, really, really delicious. So I'm not sure if you guys have saw the cornbread that way, but that's that's another way you can make it as well. Um, it's kind of, it was kind of like making a pancake, but it wasn't the, the, the sweetness of a pancake. It was more along the lines of a, a cornbread. Um, so, um, Pretty soon I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys as well. Um, I remember sometimes she would add like onions into it. Um, of course, I didn't eat the ones with the onions, but you know, <laughs> she would make it that way as well. So I'm gonna share that recipe um, at some point with you guys also. I went to pick this stuff up from my local Walmart. I started to do a vlog and let you guys uh, come along, but you know, I decided just to go ahead and grab this. Um, so. Also to this mixture, guys, you want to add um, four uh, tablespoons of sugar. So I have my sugar here. Um, this is on really tight. I don't know if I put it on tight. I know I did it because. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get your four tablespoons of sugar. This is another thing the box does not call for sugar. But again, if you want to uh, kick it up a notch, um, you can go ahead and follow follow the recipe. Okay, it's totally up to you. In the oven, you guys, I have a, a, a shredded chicken. It's like a comfort food. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have the sugar mixed up in there. Whisk it really good. The batter smells good too, guys. Okay. Also to this mixture, you want to add one stick of butter. You may be like a whole stick of butter. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Again, we are kicking our cornbread up a notch. We're not doing the basic cornbread over here. We want to kick it up a notch. So we're going to go ahead and get that stick of butter. I've already took it out. You can do two things with your butter, you guys. You can either put your stick of butter in your microwave and let it um, melt down a little bit. But me, I just took it out ahead of time and it's um, at room temperature. So it's pretty soft. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that over into the uh, mixture and get that whisk up as well. <clears throat> and it's just going to give your cornbread a lot more flavor. know about you guys but dealing with a whisk sometimes your hand be like <laughs> your arm brother you know all the whisking with your arm it just you know makes it hurt a little bit but that's okay we're gonna get our cornbread together here um so yeah okay so we have that whisk here what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get it over into my baking dish and you can use whatever size baking dish you want here um I just have a glass um baking dish. I'm going to um, put my mixture over here. I've already um, I've added butter to the bottom of my dish. Um, I just kind of like spread the butter on. Again, you can melt your butter, pour it in there, however you want to do it, just as long as you uh, butter or grease the bottom of your pan. So yeah. Okay. So here you guys can see I've um, whisked the cornbread mixture all together. I have my sugar, I have my eggs, I have my butter, I have my milk. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get it over into the uh, glass baking dish. I've already um, greased this di dish and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this mixture over into the um, baking dish. And I'm going to it, get it into my oven and let it bake up for about... I would say about 30 minutes and yeah take it out and what you're gonna have is a nice moist uh super good buttery cornbread <laughs> so yeah so you guys whenever you're cooking whenever you're baking you always want to you know it's good to follow the um 
follow the, the, the directions on your boxes, but sometimes it's okay to step outside of the box. Sometimes you want to, you know, kick your, kick your, um, your recipe up a notch and you know, that's what you want to do. You don't have to always be, you know, simple and, you know, go directly by it, but you want to, you know, make sure your stuff has a nice flavor and your family is enjoying it, you know? Be like, what did, how did you make that? Mm. Just look on the back of the box. We don't have to tell nobody. We did our own little <laughs> twist to it. But yeah. Okay. So we have gotten that over into our dish. Okay. So here we have it. We've gotten it over into our dish. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and put it into the oven. Of course, the oven is already uh, heated. It's on 350. Um, I'm going to get it over there for, for about 30, 30, 40 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to take it out and let you guys see what it looks like. Um, and while this is baking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my area. And when I come back, we're going to cut our cornbread and we're going to see exactly how it came out. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, so we have finally came to the end of our uh, episode of the Jiffy Cornbread Mix. And here it is. We did get a chance to pull that oven. We've sliced it up and there you have it. So yeah, if you are interested in making this, I will leave the details in the description box. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel um, because we are trying to grow our channel. And with that, I need your help. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, also, I want you guys to try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below because I do read the comments. Let me know if you've tried it, if you have. How did it come out? Was it good? <laughs> so yeah, I will continue to post uh, videos. Also, do not forget guys, I do post vlogs as well. So if you have something that you're interested in, interested in me making, um, don't be sh uh, shy. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, hey, um, can you make this? I will make it because I do see your comments. Um, until the next video, I love you guys. Peace.